שלום, 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 שלום. As always. First, I want to give you the praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash, Yahweh is the name of the Most High God. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, shall I to the 144,000 men and the hopeful elect brothers and sisters of the true children of Israel, the true Hebrew Israelites, shall I want. So I want to do a quick lesson on this, um, this news article that came up the other day here. Um, as you can see from my title, today's title, I'm calling this edification, Babylon must be destroyed, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. Babylon must be destroyed, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. As you know, Babylon is what we know today as the United States of America. All right. So I'm going to play you a little bit of this uh, news report here, um, and then I'm going to bring out some scriptures um, we're not going to spend too long on this, but we're just going to hope, pray that you are edified by what we're going to speak on today once again. Okay. Now, this was really shocking to me because I live in the United Kingdom. But like I said, boy, when it comes to these Edomites, nothing shocks me anymore. When it comes to these Edomites, nothing shocks me anymore, truly, with these devils. So without further ado, let's... Uh, Play this little bit, of, little bit of this news clip, and then we're going to bring out some scriptures. All right. And he referenced Isaiah 3 9 and said, Whatever God calls sin is nothing to be proud of. Folks, whether you agree with Lowell's statements is not the point. He didn't deserve to have his life and reputation destroyed for sharing his Christian views. Where is free speech? Don't UK citizens have the right to share their views? written signed the UN Declaration of Human Rights, which insists that everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. Seven months ago, Lowell told us he had to speak out for truth after seeing online images of naked men parading around children at a gay pride event. Really what prompted me was uh, seeing these these really, really first scenes um, on, on these marches and, and wondering why these things are allowed to sort of go ahead. Because this is Babylon. Now, truly, truly, look at this. Take a second and look at this. Truly understand. When we say Babylon must be destroyed, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. This is the wickedness of these Edomites. This is how wicked these people are, you know, truly how sinful they are and how wicked they are, that they believe this is okay, that they can do this in their parades, in their pride parades, marching, and they can actually do this and this is okay. This is what they believe. This is what they allow them to do. The Lord is coming to destroy Babylon the Great and all of the different governments around the world are going to be subjugated and put down. Every single one of them, from the United Kingdom to France to Germany, every single government on this planet Earth is going to be subjugated when the Lord Yahweh comes back to establish the kingdom of heaven. And there's going to be a lot of blood shed when the Lord comes back because this world is filled, filled with iniquity, filth and iniquity. Because what we're looking at is total. Total filth. Total filth. There's going to be so much destruction and judgment. So much destruction and judgment. I just can't, I just can't, I just can't understand this. But like I said, nothing more, nothing shocks me anymore when it comes to these Edomites. Nothing shocks me anymore when it comes to these perverted Edomites. Nothing shocks me anymore. Let's listen to a little bit more of this news. These marches and, and wondering why these things are allowed to sort of go ahead. So 
So let's see. Nothing happens if you parade around naked in front of children during Gay Pride Month, but speaking out against it gets you in trouble. The Conservative Party reinstated Lawal last fall, and now six months later, their investigation is complete. The disciplinary panel ruled, quote, it would be wrong to conflate an objection to the Pride movement as homophobic. Bravo. Some of us may remember former U.S. So, this is, this is an absolute, this is an abomination. An actual abomination that they can allow this to happen. But this is Babylon, and these tentacles are everywhere. And remember, the United Kingdom gave birth to Babylon. This is Babylon's mother. He who gave, he who he who gave birth to her. This is Britain. This is the wicked. This is why the Lord's got to destroy this place, man. He's got to destroy it to establish his kingdom on earth. He's got to destroy it. He's got to destroy it. Um, the fourfold hallelujah. All right. And after these things, I heard a great, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto our Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, our power. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he has judged the great whore, which is America, Babylon the Great, for the whole world to witness. Revelations 18 explains it beautifully which did corrupt the earth as you can see with her fornication which did corrupt the earth with her fornication makes my stomach turn and has avenged the blood of his servants at her hand the lord's going to destroy that place babylon and this is where it's going to go down Revelations 18 and 1, Babylon is falling. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, which is America, the great whore, is fallen and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. That's going to be its aftermath. For all nations have what? Have drunk the wine of her wrath and of her fornication. For all nations have drunk the wine of her wrath and of her fornication. And here's a perfect example right here, as you can all see. You can all see. For all nations have drunk the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All nations. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, meaning business, international business, trade, deals. And the merchants of the earth, the corporations, are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. So the Lord is getting ready to destroy this place, Babylon the Great. It's getting ready to destroy this place. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. This is going to be the great deliverance of the remnant of the children of Israel from Babylon. That ye be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. The main plague is going to be the intercontinental ballistic missiles, nuclear missiles. For her sins have reached unto heaven and Yahweh has remembered her iniquities. For her sins have reached up unto heaven. She's going to be destroyed. Reward her even as she has rewarded you and double unto her according to her works and the cup which she has filled, fill to her double. How much, how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she says in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues, her intercontinental ballistic missiles and the chariots of the Lord and the angel. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God Yahweh who judges her. She's going to be totally destroyed. Jeremiah 51 and 7 reiterates the same thing. Babylon, America, has been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand. 
that made all the earth drunken, that made all of the earth drunken with her wickedness. All of the earth are drunken with the wine of her fornication, which is her wickedness. That made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, her philosophies. Therefore, the nations are mad. They're not, they're not just mad with America because they're going to realize when America falls, it's going to cause every nation to fall alongside it. They're going to realize that they were snared in a trap with this Babylon the Great. And they're also mad. They're also, like I said, this is, this is what you call total madness. Total, utter madness. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her. Take balm for her pain. For so be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone to his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. Babylon can't be healed. Babylon is finished. Totally finished. Revelations 14 and 8. And they followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. America is fallen, is fallen. That great city, the United States of America, because she made all nations drink of the wine, of the wrath of her fornication. The praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The praises. You get one more before we shut this down. Revelation 17 and 1. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore, which is America, that sitteth upon many waters. The many waters are the different nationalities of people that live in America, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, business, gone into business, international business with America, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. The inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, as you can see here. Completely. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with a gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations of filthiness and fornications. This is what's in her hand. This is the cup that's in her hand. This abomination that we see here. An absolute abomination of filthiness and fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the United States of America, the great, the mother of harlots, and the abominations of the earth. It's exactly what we're looking at. Exactly what we're looking at. I was make this quick, man. This, this just totally disgusted me. I just need to bring this up to show you, boy, that Babylon, America, must be destroyed. And the whole system that comes with this Babylonian, Roman, reincarnation system must be destroyed. I pray you're edified. As always, all the praise and glory to Yahweh, Shim, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Shamrakar, Kadesh, the Apostles, to the Elders, the Great Millstone.